Hello, today's video we have the following content. Jaline and Lin Jenkson have made the official announcement. Congratulations to the whole network. Should I say it or not, Jaline is so focused on her career now. She is really cool I mean, I really like watching dramas with leading female leads who are pursuing their careers. I'd be sad if I haven't watched Sister Fiona's wind-blowing Penelia. Subangsha, played by Jaline, started from scratch through her bold vision and personality. As long as she sets her sights on something, there is nothing she can't do. Also, Jaline's new drama Walking with the Phoenix is coming soon. Exclamation mark. Jaline and Lynn Jenkson are the second couple after six years. How many people couldn't help but think about you when I went Chuki LCP back then? I wonder if this second ride can make up for the regrets of the past. Can't wait to follow the plot of traveling with Phoenix. Looking forward to it. Didn't it just happen at yesterday a little sister asked me what drama I was following, so today I am going to tell you about the drama I am following recently. This drama is so good. I have to say that Infinite Reversal really understands my thoughts. This drama tells the story of a workplace sexual assault case. The female victim, Zhao Sun, denied being harmed for the first time, and then five days later she called the police to accuse her of rape. This is probably the entry point, which is to give a voice to the women who have been victimized. They may be imperfect, but don't ignore that they are not the ones who did wrong, so when women are violated, they must bravely stand up and speak out so that the bad guys receive the punishment they deserve. But next time, can you let teacher Liu Yijin play a positive role? Don't waste this handsome face. In addition, the scenes between Chen Xu and Liu Yijin are also very touching, is it unusual for you to have an affair? There is only business between you and me. It is indeed a top-notch competition between powerful actors, and the drama is full of tension. Speaking of female dramas, I think of this movie Girls Rules. The story revolves around an attempted rape case. The police did not accept the case at all. Instead, they were accused of going out with the boys and were taken to court by the man for intentional injury. Fortunately, the woman's lawyer hit the nail on the head. There is no unnecessary explanation, no means no. As long as there is no consent, it is sexual assault, and the girl's will is the criterion for determining whether it is rape or not. And what the lawyer said in the final ending is right. The real ones who should be saved should not be the girls, but the boys who have no idea that forcing women is wrong. I just finished watching Peerless Internet Celebrity in one sitting yesterday, and I had a great time watching Wang Galin throughout the whole process. It was really fun to watch. It is about the world of Internet Celebrities. How the heroine becomes an internet celebrity, is ostracized, attacked, and resolved. And there are glamorous behind-the-scenes stories, such as forming small groups, fake friendships, putting on shows for fans, in short, there are always controversies and intrigues. There is also the portrayal of jealousy. To put it bluntly, you don't want to see others living better than yourself, whether it is the group of internet celebrities who exclude the heroine or the heroine's good friend. But what I didn't expect was that it was like that and he could still be killed. It's really bloody. What surprised me the most was that Song Yuki also played a cameo role. The plot is also really interesting. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. In the end, I was impressed by the messages from the sisters backstage. This costume suspense is really good to watch. I don't even want to watch it at double speed. It tells the story of Jin Wu Wei's Huang Lang and Di Rinji's close disciples teaming up to detect strange cases in Chang'an City. There are a total of eight cases, each of which is very exciting, and the rhythm and story of the cases are very strong, making them indistinguishable. In particular, the style of production is really suspenseful, and you are automatically involved in it. What impressed me deeply was that the last one had an illusion show, which had a cinematic feel similar to Legend of the Demon Cat. It's so enjoyable to read it all in one go. Sisters who haven't got to see it should hurry up and watch it. It is said that the second season is already being filmed. I am really looking forward to it.